All right, guys, so we are going to be making this right now. Um, and so what we did was that we imported a tree from Megascans. Uh, it was not the Megascans using the Quixel, um, using the Quixel bridge. Um, instead, we actually downloaded a pack from the Epic Game Store, um, which has trees because the Megascans library currently does not have um, trees in it. So yeah, that's what we did. And apart from that, we imported uh, this um, sort of like, a, I think it's a um, pot or something like that from mega scans again and we imported some assets from mega scans and we did some lighting and um, it was pretty easy actually to make and i think it looks pretty good so i'm going to be showing you the exact process of how i made it and how you can do uh so yeah without any further ado let's start so what i'm going to do is that firstly i'm just going to be opening unreal engine 5 and you can just go to games and you can create a new blank project however what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be using a pre-existing project which i which i have and that's what i like to do i usually just create one project and I make like five or 10 artworks on that project. And then I just move on to the next one because um, it's just easier to work on one project by just creating new levels um, instead of like actually creating a whole new a whole new project for different things because you do, you have to sort of import um, all the add-ons and all the um, extra packs which you downloaded again in that project. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be just, I'm just gonna be opening this, uh, but you can obviously create a new project if you want. All right, so now I am inside of Unreal Engine 5. And what I'm going to be doing is that I'm simply going to go to File, New Level, and I'm just going to be creating a, an empty level. Uh, so I like to start from scratch usually. So that's why I create empty levels. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that firstly, I'm going to press Control S to save this level. And then we can just name it um, forest underscore concrete underscore SS or something like that. Yeah, you can name it whatever you want. All right, so now first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be lighting this scene. So I'm just going to go to Window, Environment Light Mixer. And this is how we light basically all, or almost all um, outdoor scenes. Just create a skylight, atmospheric light, sky atmosphere, volumetric crowd, and height fog. Now, if you are on Unreal Engine 5.0, right now I'm on Unreal Engine 5.1, but if you are on Unreal Engine 5.0, you're gonna have uh, the option to create two directional lights. Uh, so I would only, I would recommend you to create only one directional light. So just skip that one. Um, right. So our scene is basically lit, and this is how we're gonna be lighting our scene. So perfect. So I'm just going to be increasing the camera speed to two. I think that should be fine. And so what I'm going to do firstly is that I'm going to be starting with a basic layout of our scene uh, or the basic structure of our scene. And then we're going to be as uh, then we're going to be adding the assets later on. So I'm just going to be creating a cube. Just go to add shapes and cube. And then a cube, so a cube is going to appear. Now, one thing which I'm going to be doing right now is that right now, the problem is that although we have the sun from there, we still do have a whole skylight and this part is way too dark. It should be lit up by this bright area and it should be a lot less darker. So um, the global illumination should be better, basically. So for that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be going to this um, skylight and I'm going to turn this real time capture on. So if I turn this on, you're going to see that this side becomes a lot brighter and the whole scene looks generally better. So I'm, I just recommend you to set this to real time capture and make sure that it's not static. Make sure that it is movable because if it's static, then you won't have this option. So yeah, just set it to movable. Right. So now let's start building out our scene. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be scaling it down like that. I can turn on, turn on snapping. Uh, actually, that's something which I'm going to do because that's just going to make the process easier. Let me just move it right there so that it's somewhat in the center. And let's scale it down like that. I think something like that should be a good starting point. Right, so I'm just going to be scaling it up in this axis slightly. I think something like that should be good. We can obviously tweak this later on. And so what I'm going to do for the scale uh, to get an idea of the scale, I'm just going to be importing that pot which I showed you um, first. So I'm just going to be opening that render side by side as well so that we can take a look at it. So I'm just going to be importing this thing right here uh, from Megascan. So for that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go to add, add Quixel content, and then we can just search for pot. I don't think it's actually called pot, but I just found out um, that it does show up when you search pot. Yeah, it is a pot actually. Concrete plant pot. So um, what we did was that we actually scaled this in the X and Y axis. So in this one, uh, in this picture, if I just open it again, in this picture, you're going to see that it looks a lot uh, wider. So we actually did scale it up in the X and Y axis. So you can just download this or you can choose any one, um, any other one as well. You have a lot of options right here. So you can just choose one which you think looks the best. And I'm just going to go with this one. So I'm just going to add it, add. And now we can just simply drag this in it. Now, Obviously, first you're going to have to download it and then you can add it in your scene. So make sure to download at least medium quality uh, or high quality if your computer can um, afford the performance cost of it. 
Otherwise, just go with medium quality. It's fine. Let me just bring it down slightly so that it's resting on the cube. I think that's fine. And so now what I'm going to do is that I'm, I'm going to be scaling this down slightly. Something like that. I think that should be a good scale. And then I'm going to be scaling this up quite a lot. Something like that should be good. All right. So now we can continue with uh, making the basic outline because now we have an idea of how uh, how the scene looks and we have an idea of the scale of the scene. So I'm just going to be pressing Alt on my keyboard and I'm going to be moving this. Uh, I'm going to be duplicating this. Actually, before that, I'm just going to Control Z. I'm just going to turn on the snapping so that we can uh, move it perfectly. Now you're going to see that they're perfectly aligned. So the moment this ends, uh, that exact moment this starts. So that looks pretty good. And I can just go here. Why is it not showing? Anyways, um, I'm just going to go there. And you can see that we have uh, a few uh, blocks right here. And then it continues to the right side. And then we have um, some yeah, then we have some walls. Uh, and we're just gonna we're just gonna create a basic outline of that. Right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to Unreal Engine. And then we can simply just duplicate this like that, so that it continues to the right. Now I'm not going to bother with um, continuing this further, because obviously, it's not going to be it's not going to be visible in our scene. So yeah, I'm just going to save time. And so now I'm just going to select both of these, press Alt, duplicate them, move them up. And then I can just rotate it like that 90 degrees. And I'm just going to be moving it right there. Perfect. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to be doing the same exact thing with the other side as well. Instead of here, I'm just going to be de deleting that one. Actually, I'm not going to be deleting that one. I'm just going to be rotating it so that we can place it right here. I can probably increase the camera speed and that's going to be better. Right, so 90 degrees. Looks pretty good. Right, so it's not perfectly aligned. So I'm going to be turning off the snapping and I'm going to make sure that it's somewhat aligned. And let's turn on the snapping again. So I'm going to be duplicating both of these. And now we can rotate them 90 degrees. And again, of course. Oops. Yeah, and then we can just simply drag it like that. So our basic outline is mostly complete. I'm not going to be well, I'm not going to be worrying about this scene continuing to the right, um, because that's not going to be visible. So yeah, and I think it looks pretty good. The only thing left is the sky, um, not the sky, the roof. So I'm going to be duplicating that. And I think that is the outline of our scene. So if I just look at the scene, you're going to see that it looks pretty similar. Now, although I have made that exact same um, layout, which, um, which, which is in this picture, Although I would highly recommend you to actually turn, uh, actually use your own creativity and come up with some, uh, come up with some other ideas and maybe try some different ideas out. So yeah, I would, re I would recommend you to be creative and just use your own creativity. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be duplicating these so that I continue them up like that. And another thing which I'm going to be doing is that now I'm just going to be setting up the light to match that render. So let me just move the direction light there so that we can easily control it while being in this view. Right, so I can just rotate the light. Something like that should be good, maybe. Or, yeah, now the lighting is actually something which is uh, totally based on your personal preference and your own creativity. I'm just going to be turning off the snapping uh, of the rotation so that we can easily control the lighting. Now, the one which I used in that render uh, was, I think, something like this, or maybe a little more curved, something like that. Uh, but obviously, you can try your own lighting setup. I would recommend you to try maybe something like this. And maybe the tree is somewhere there. So that's going to be a more creative, um, a more creative version of this render. So yeah, I would highly recommend you to just try your own ideas and just come up with what thing, what do you think looks good. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be moving this hmm, right there. Something like that. So I'm just going to make sure that it's somewhat in the center. I think something like that should be good. Something like that is fine. And now I'm just going to be scaling it up in the x and the y axis so that it becomes more um, flat. Maybe so. I'm just going to be turning off the snapping so that I can scale it up something like that as well. Perfect. I think it looks pretty good. Now it's time to add the tree. Now, where do we get the tree? We simply go to the Epic Games Launcher. Now, the Epic Games Launcher is what you used to install Unreal Engine 5. So just open that. And I'm just going to wait for it to open. 
All right, so now I'm just going to go to the marketplace once Epic Games Launcher is opened. And then you can just search for, just wait for the marketplace to open first. And then you can search for Mega Scans Trees. Now you have two major packs which you can use. Uh, so one is this, Mega Scans, uh, Mega Scans Trees, European Black Alder. This is the one which I'm going to be using. So just press download. There should be a download button somewhere here. So just press that and then you can add to project. Press add to project and just select the project which you want to add it to. And then just press this add to project. Now once you do that, it's going to show up as a folder right here. So this black alder folder, uh, it should show up right there. Alternatively, you can also use this pack, Megascan trees, European horn beam. So yeah, these are going to be slightly different trees. So it, it really depends on what sort of look you want and what sort of um, scene you're trying to create. I would recommend you to actually download both of them uh, because they're pretty good. They're pretty good packs here. Yeah. So once you have installed and added it, you can just simply open this folder and you can go to geometry, pivot painter, and then you can select any tree which you want. I think I used this one. So if I just open it, you're going to see that it's absolutely massive. Uh, so I'm just going to be scaling it down. I think something like that should be a good size. And yeah, it's basically the exact same tree which I used previously. Um, so yeah, you can just choose any one of these. I would actually recommend you to not, uh, not use the one which I did and actually use a different tree because that's going to sort of build your creative muscle and instincts. So something like that should be good, maybe. Yeah, so we're in the center now. And I think it looks pretty good. Okay, 